Oh, the problems of rich people. Uh, <laughs> film threat reviews. Hi, I'm Alan Ning. I'm with Zarina Kid, and today we're reviewing Rebecca, which is on Netflix. After a whirlwind romance in Monte Carlo, a young bride struggles to escape the huge shadow of her new rich, handsome husband's first wife. Mm. Rebecca is based on the 1938 gothic novel by Daphne du Maurier, and it's directed by Ben Wheatley, stars Lily James, Army Hammer, Kristen Scott Thomas. Now, Zarina, this, this film is full of very pretty people. Yes. A lot of pretty people in this. And they're in danger and in peril, boy, boy. There you go. So, what do you think of, of Rebecca? Okay, so it it was. Uh, I think it's always a risk when you are remaking an Alfred Hitchcock movie that won Best Picture, yeah. even though it was way back in 1940. Yeah. yeah, I know. I'm I'm still waiting for Casablanca, the the remake. <laughs> <laughs> and um, so. However, I, in total honesty, I did not see that movie. I did not see yeah, that. Yeah, I didn't see it either. And I didn't read the book. So to me, I watched this as I would watch any movie without knowing anything about it. And you know what? It wasn't great, but it wasn't not great. I actually enjoyed the ride. I, I thought it was... Um, a great little thriller, um, like you said, full of pretty people wearing beautiful clothes, living in the most amazing places. Very um, relatable. <laughs> 100%, of course. Um, none of them actually had much chemistry, uh, really. They just did not. Uh, the the actors, I I think, or maybe the care maybe the characters themselves didn't have didn't. I, I think I think it's more the characters. Yeah. You know, I, you know. Let, let me let me give you my first impression of the yes. film. The the movie is two hours long, and um, let's I'll just break it down this way. the The first act of the movie is the first hour of the movie. The second hour of the movie, uh, second act of the movie is the next fifty minutes, and then the third act is ten minutes. And I yeah. would say this, I love the third act. Yeah, me too. But the first and second act, oh my gosh, it it, it was like, oh, it just took it. So, so here's the thing. It's on Netflix. Um, in Netflix, there's always the temptation to shut it off and do something else, as opposed to going to the movie theater where you're trapped, so to speak, for the full two hours. And so you're more likely to, to wait it out. In this one, there are times, especially when... The first of the swerves happened where it's like, oh, okay. And Wait, then I was like, did you want to shut it off? Like, did, was that the temptation for you? There, there was. Because I'll tell you this. Um, okay, so just real brief um, Lily James plays uh, a girl who, or a woman who uh, falls instantly in love with a rich man yeah. who has a past. <laughs> and, um, and so when they first meet, he says, I'll drive you anywhere. And so she picks this place that's three hours out of the way. They show up. It's a beautiful location, and he's feeling bummed out. Why are you bummed out? Well, this is where I had my honeymoon. <laughs> I mean, and, and you know, this happens. This is the big reveal that happens in the first twenty minutes, and it's just like so. We're we're brought down this path where you know it's going, or or I should say this: uh, you either know where it's going, or you're expecting a big swerve uh, at the end. And that's what this movie does: is it drags you a very long time. And you either, you're thinking to yourself, well, obviously this can, is going to happen, or they're going to swerve us and do something completely different. Oh, I know, I have to stop you. No, that first part, they're falling in love. Come on. <laughs> no, but the thing is, yes, yes. It's amazing. He's putting sand on her bare skin. <laughs> He's wearing this gorgeous mustard suit. And oh my God, you, you know. know I, will, I will agree with you. I love watching Lily James and Army Hammer fall in love. Two yes! beautiful people. And you know, it's just yes, you know, this is this is romance. But but at the same time they're dropping little hints about Army's character. Yeah. yeah. Um, that and and in your mind you're going, well I know where this is going. Yeah. Uh, yep. And in my case it was I know this is going, but what if they aren't going that direction? And then I'm thinking about well where could they be going? And um and, and like I said, that that first reveal occurs one hour into the movie. And so you have this one hour of of, uh, of this romance and the, and, and the slowly chipping away at at uh, at Army's character. Um, 
And it's just like, well, I know and where you have the world's biggest asshole. And you're like, why? <laughs> where does that come from? You've been in love with her for the first hour. And now, like, you don't want to spend time with her. And now there's a housekeeper that's super evil. And, and the first wife. The, 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 the dead oh, wife. <laughs> the dead wife is everywhere, but you never see her. And maybe Army Hammer's character is really bad. Or maybe the housekeeper's bad. Oh, maybe Lily James isn't as sweet and innocent as we think. Oh my gosh, who are all these people? Are they good, bad? So, I mean, it was just like a, I just, oh, I just, I dove into that world and who's living in that weird lighthouse and who's the, who are these crazy, creepy people or why are the servants looking at her in a weird way? It was like, yeah, it was, it was silly ish, but it was also creepy ish. And it was a who done it ish. Yeah. And I just, I lapped it up. I honestly, yeah. I, I totally lapped it up. I just thought, you I know what? It's October, it's almost <laughs> Halloween. I'm into this. But I should remind you, everything you described is in that first act. <laughs> the first <laughs> you know, there's still two more acts and another hour of the movie. So, you know, and, and that, that was my biggest thing. Because when when the first swerve happens um, and it takes you down a very different road, um, you know, I'm, I'm doing this all over again. It's like, well, I know this is where it's going. And if they're smart, they're not going to go that way. But then I'm thinking, well, if they're not going to go that way, then they're going to do this, which, you know, and, the, you know, and again, this is, it's like, oh, I, it's, you know, it's just, you know, at this point, an hour and 50 minutes of just really predictable stuff until you get to that last 10 minutes, which is really awesome and amazing. So normally in a good film, characters have arcs where they start one way and you see them become something else. Well, here, Lily James is this, meek, unworldly woman living in the shadows of a supposed glamorous, amazing, beautiful dead wife that she could never live up to. But in the last 10 minutes of the film, all of a sudden, like, Lily James develops this, you know, fierce personality that just comes out of nowhere and is a completely different person. So that just was really incongruent with everything else. Yeah, and I think you're you're making my point. <laughs> you know, I... You know, again, not to not to rehash it, but yeah, it's that's a long hour and fifty minutes to get to. Yeah, and and here's the other thing. I'm sorry, but I think Lily James is beautiful. I mean, she played Cinderella in the Cinderella yeah. movie. So how come everybody acts like she's this mousy, unbeautiful woman who will never measure up to this beautiful dead wife? Like she's beautiful. I know. It's like if you. If, if, you know, she's supposed to essentially be at the same level and class as the workers of this mansion. But if she was sitting in a room with those workers, she would stand out. Well, um, she goes but, but then again, to visit the, the servants, she's the most beautiful one there. Yeah. You know, I, I, I wasn't hung up on that. I don't mind looking at Lily James for an hour and 50 minutes. Oh, yeah, exactly. But but if she's supposed to be subpar, yeah. then that's a little strange because she's not. I mean, she's she's very glamorous and beautiful, and her character is not supposed to be that. But but in any case, like I said at the start of this review, I fully dived in to the nonsense and all because <laughs> I, I I was into it. I really was. Okay, so based on that, uh, I'm gonna guess you gave it a seven and a half. Well, you know, I feel a little bit like I'm being a little too generous. I enjoyed it, not because yeah. it was like amazingly great. I just, you know, it was just the mood and the time and the the lushness and the loving them falling in love and then the mystery. I, I mean, yeah, I'm all over the place, but ah, uh, seven, seven is 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 it for me? I think you gave it um a six. You no, know, I gave it. Yeah, you know, I I really had to struggle with this one, and and the issue to me became, would I recommend this to someone? And uh, and I would say no, just because. Uh, really? See, yeah. I would though. I. <laughs> yeah, so I gave it a five just to stay it, but but it, it you know, uh, it's on Netflix, and there's a million titles on Netflix, and uh, I don't think I would tell people to go go and see Rebecca versus, you know, something else. I, I don't know. Maybe maybe it's a girl's thing. Maybe it's sort of like the you know, we just yeah. 
there's something about watch is something about watching this marriage or this this relationship come together and then start to unravel and then well then which way is it gonna yeah. go and it make to, no to me if, if they had truncated it and and better worked on this uh, worked better on the structure of it and paced it out a little bit quicker um i probably would would recommend it but you know it's like oh it's two hours long <laughs> i didn't feel that i didn't feel that I did. <laughs> I, I absolutely did. Okay. So um, be sure to like, subscribe, and comment on the Film Threat YouTube channel. Let us know what you thought of Rebecca. And with that, let's get out of here. <laughs> <laughs>